sex worker. So today my boyfriend and I will be filming some spicy content for my un Okay, I'm not being rude and this is not to be disrespectful to this girl in any single way. This is not coming at her at all, but I'm offended because I am a 29 year old professional in a respectable job. I own my own place. I pay my own bills. I pay my own way. I have only had two boyfriends in my lifetime and the one lasted six years, the other one lasted three years. I don't even post my ankles, much less my thighs, my social media. All you get in is head and shoulders like the shampoo. All you get in is a mugshot I never got pregnant dropped out of school had an abortion joined the gang if you was to look on social media right now you will find nothing you're not gonna find news you're not gonna find me fighting people online you're not gonna find me doing none of that the most you'll see me doing is cracking jokes and i'm single okay okay so this woman knows almost nothing about this other woman. All she knows is what this woman does for a living. And that means that she feels that she's automatically a better girlfriend, a better candidate for love. She doesn't feel this other woman is worthy of love. She goes on to list her entire resume, complete with references for why she's more worthy of love. And... What's sad about this is that this is one of the most obvious cases of being a pick me as I've ever seen. Pick me, choose me, love me. I haven't done this online. I haven't done this. I've only had two boyfriends in my life. And like you go through all these reasons why you think you're better than this woman without knowing anything about this woman. Clearly somebody doesn't mind. It's like, just because somebody would make a different life choice than you doesn't make them any less worthy of love. But she seems to think so. And this is sad to me because this happens all too often. It's like there is a pot for every lid. No matter what you've done in life, no matter who you are, how you are, there is somebody who's going to be perfectly fine with it. You're not a better woman because you made different choices. My question is, who did she make this video for? Did she make it for the other woman that she stitched? You want this woman to know that you're a better woman than her and that you deserve a man and she doesn't? Did you make the video for her man to say that, why did you choose a woman like that when women like me are still available? Did you make that video for other women? That can't be because there's a whole list of, of, of things that you listed that some women may have done one thing on that list or all the things or none of the things on that list. Like, who did you make the video for? This is the kind of thing that should have stayed in the drafts. It comes across very judgy and it makes it seem like unless you are utter perfection in your eyes, you don't deserve a partner and you definitely don't deserve love.